Hey everybody, welcome to Drip Depot's Irrigation Basics. Today, I'd like to show you how to test the flow rate of your water source. In drip irrigation, this is important because it will tell you how many emitters you can have on your system at once. For example, if you have 400 gallons per hour in emitters, but only 200 gallons per hour flow from your water source, some emitters will be starved of water and may not operate as they should, if they operate at all. All you'll need is a timer and a bucket. Hold or orient your bucket so that all the water flowing out of the faucet goes into the bucket. It's best if you hit start on your timer at the same time you open the hose bib valve. Open the hose bib valve all the way so you get the full force of the water going into the bucket and get an accurate reading. Okay, here we go. Hit stop on the timer at the same time it hits the fill line and you'll get an accurate reading. Once your bucket's full, you have everything you need to determine your gallons per hour. You can turn the two pieces of information into the flow rate of your hose bib. In this case, we have a two gallon bucket, 45.6 seconds. To turn these two pieces of data into gallons per hour, go to our website at dripdepots.com. Enter the two pieces of information and it will convert it into gallons per hour so that you can properly plan your drip irrigation system. Container size was two gallons. Time to fill was 45.6 seconds. This gives us a result of 157.89 gallons per hour. Our helpful flow rate calculator can be found in the description below. If you'd like to do the math yourself, it's not actually too difficult. Divide the volume of the container by the time it took to fill it. In our case, that was two gallons over 45.6 seconds. Multiply that result by 60 and you have your gallons per minute, which is also a handy number to know. Multiply it by another 60 and you have your gallons per hour. All right, everybody, for a quick recap, here's what we did. We fill our bucket and we time how long it takes to fill it. We open our hose bib valve all the way so we get an accurate reading. After that, you can either do the math yourself or just go to our website at dripdepot.com and enter the variables into our flow rate calculator. Then you'll have your gallons per hour. When the flow rate of your water source isn't enough to feed all the emitters on the system, all you'll need to do is zone your system into two or more zones. You can learn about zoning your system by checking out the video there in the top right. If you found this video at all helpful, give us a like. If you have any questions, comment below. We're active in our channel we happy to help you. You can contact us there or at dripdepot.com. We'll be happy to hear from you.